Old World is basically what Crusader Kings 2 and Civilization would look like if they were combined together. It is Crusader Kings 2 role playing elements mixed with a beautiful 4K graphical world similar to Civilization 5. This is a very ambitious, epic and historical strategy game from Zoran Johnson, lead designer of Civilization 4. And I am really really have been looking forward to this. Amazing. And Zoran leads indie game studio Mohawk in the development of this great game. The main line is simple, each leader is a mere mortal. And what is ambition but nothing more than the fates of others before. Every year is a turn, which means it's not just one more turn, it's full of events, full of character, full of battles and full of flavour. The legacy you create in this game will ultimately craft your story. What's up guys and welcome to this introduction of this wonderful game. Old World comes out on Early Access on May the 5th and is currently up on sale on Epic Games for £31.99. I'll put the link down in the description below. I will be working on doing Let's Plays on May the 5th and then pretty much upload as much as I can. Thank you so much. Without further ado, let's begin. Old World is a game that makes you, the player, focus on more elements of role playing rather than just simply building and conquering the world. The world takes inspiration from classical antiquity and the Bronze Age. You'll play with some of the most historical figures in world history. Will you choose Persia? Will you choose Caesar? Will you choose Hatshepsut, the Queen of Egypt? There are many such possibilities in this game. You will also have the chance to see your leaders grow old and you will inherit new leaders. Old World features a number of unique events. You can go and expand your cities and build wonders, which is basically the same in Civilization V. However, there are more features to think about. Your dynasty, your ambitions, the upkeep of an army, keeping your people happy and establishing your religion. You can choose ambitions that later reflect choices within your gameplay. And yes, I repeat it, you have 1200 events, all written by the main writers of Mohawk Studios. And I cannot believe that. This is the reason why I would really, really would love to play this. President of Mohawk Games. This is the feature that convinced me to say yes, I want this game. Because in Civilization V, I feel the game suffered from a lack of events. And they'll probably also update with story events and more that comes along. I really want historical RTS games to embrace the features of narrative. Assassin's Creed, for example, is an action-adventure game that is set in an open-world environment and played from a third-person perspective. However, it follows historical events with narrative. I want historical RTS games to embrace the powerful medium of storytelling. The fact that many of these stories are inspired by historical events is absolutely amazing and is a testament of the fact that Mohawk Studios spend time developing and researching what must have been many parts of history. As a result, your characters gain memories, traits and relationships which then do later affect events in your gameplay. So you must be careful in what you choose. Legitimacy and ambition. They will play a big role in your gameplay. Rulers need to know that they are worthy, that they can command support. Ambition ties into this with the completion of finishing wonders and gaining renown. Such renown, for example, could be the Wise, the Avenger, or the Peacemaker. The more legitimacy gained, the more additional orders you can give and your standing with your people improve. Mohawk games state that through each victory you gain 10 ambitions. And, at the cost of your victories, it becomes more difficult than the last. Ambitions are generated from the events of your games and the desire for characters. What if you had a character that wanted to have that victory, but you didn't allow him? Would he feel such jealousy? I wonder how this would play out in the game. For every victory, is everyone satisfied with it? Are there people plotting behind you? And then it also says, no game will be the same. I believe this is a very excellent reason to get this game. You must choose carefully in every aspect. The developers want you to understand that you can go ahead and build a great army, but at what cost? At what cost? At the expense of your dynasty, your upkeep, your economy, the decisions you make. 
and uh, the order system has been dramatically changed as well. You get to move your units how many times you like as opposed to the old system in Civ 4 and 5. Overall, this looks like a fantastic game and I cannot wait to play it when it comes on early access on the 5th of May. I'll be doing a let's play series and more updates on the game as we go along. I might play Persia or Egypt first. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, share, subscribe. Don't forget to click the notification button as well. I'll see you on the next let's play video for Old World on May the 5th or May the 6th. Peace out.